So it's no longer science fiction. It is a scientific reality. British scientists are assembling human DNA, not from cells, but from scratch. One day, a fully synthetic human could be built molecule by molecule, and the world is, of course, split. Is this going to be a miracle, or is it a creation of a Frankenstein? Take a look. The line between science fiction and terrifying reality blurs. In a move that sends shivers down the spine, UK scientists have embarked on a project to create something which has never been done before. An artificial human DNA is being built from scratch, backed by a 10 million pound grant from the Wellcome Trust. Scientists at Cambridge's MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology are now assembling the very code of life in test tubes. This isn't just about understanding life, it's about building it, molecule by molecule, potentially paving the way for designer humans and unleashing Pandora's box of bioweapons upon the world. The very building blocks of humanity are now being used as tools in a lab and the consequences could be severe. But as the first artificial strands of human DNA take shape, so do the nightmares. Critics warn that the same technology that could heal could just as easily harm. The specter of designer babies and genetic enhancement is only the beginning. Rogue actors could hijack the science, crafting biological weapons or synthetic pathogens with terrifying precision. The ethical dilemmas multiply. Who owns synthetic life? Who controls the data? Could your DNA be recreated without your consent? The project's backers insist that confronting these questions now is better than letting the technology run wild in the shadows. But as the world watches, the sense of unease grows. Humanity is on the brink of a new era, one where the power to create life is matched only by the risk of unleashing something we cannot control.